<laughs> just a miracle in the fact that like I didn't really you know do the deed like multiple times when I probably should have been more active Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. By the title, you'll know that today is going to be that day where I'm going to be doing a live pregnancy test. But today's also the day that I'm actually going to my doctor's appointment. So the confusion, I don't know if you're not following my story, the confusion was I was, my doctor's office was to refer me to a fertility, to a fertility clinic and that didn't go through because they wanted to see me again before they did that. So don't know how to feel about this appointment. Should I be excited? Should I not be? I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. My head's kind of all over the place with this appointment. So I just don't know what to think. Um, in terms of this pregnancy test that I'm going to be doing today, to be honest, I kind of just ignored this month again. Um, I've been doing it more and more because I've been trying not to focus on it. However, this month I only baby danced like twice. I know this sounds weird because that I know that's not a lot of time but at the same time people have only done it like once and have gotten pregnant so, so I'm not excited because I feel like I didn't do enough of what I should have done in order to conceive but at the same time I know that there's a thing called fate that could work in my liking I guess in my what's the word I'm looking for but I can't think of right now because my mom brain is suffering I don't know but it could work in my favor oh there it is <laughs> it could work in my favor so I'm not sure um yeah I don't know how it's gonna go this morning I thought I had a doctor's appointment for, with this little one because she's supposed to get her in her shots and I did delay getting them for a number of reasons I might do a video on that but delay getting them for a number of reasons. Oh, thank you, love. And now it's that time. So we both have an appointment at the same time. But I thought it was at 9.45 this morning. I jumped up and thought I was late and like rushing to go out the door like a crazy person. And now I have all this time to spare. Well, not really because I'm a stay-at-home mommy. And there's always a bajillion things to do. But you know what I mean. Like now I'm not in a rush anymore. And... um yeah, I guess I can take I can take this test using second morning urine. Oh, in case you guys are wondering what day I'm in, I'm like literally eight days post. Let me double check on the Glow app because that is the one that I'm using. Didn't pay attention to it much. It says my period is expected in five days. Five days. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm seven days post ovulation today. And that's ovulation according to this calendar. If I know better, I generally ovulate a whole day later. So I would, it would make me like six days post. I don't even know if it's worth checking. I really don't. But I will just for, just for TV. <laughs> I'm joking. I will, you know, just to see what happens. Um, I did, don't touch please. The one thing, I did take test with the ovulation strip yeah. once. I can't recall exactly when it was, if it was on the day of that the my app suggested, but it was indicating that it was nearing it and not there yet. So I really, I, I really just don't know. Okay, let's go underneath the cupboard to see what I can see. Do you guys keep a stash of pregnancy tests underneath your cupboard? Where do you keep your stash? Mine is running super low because I literally have nothing left. But I, I kind of keep them in this box, which is what I originally had um, when I purchased that kit online. But honestly, there's like nothing left in it. Majority of the tests and stuff I have is from my girlfriend who sent me, who brought me these to Canada all the way from Ohio. Shout out to her because without her, there probably wouldn't be a test today. There are the last um, pregnancy t urine tests that I have, so. Mm. 
That is what it's looking like. <coughs> Hi. Can, 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 can we come back? Okay, there we are. Um, someone in the comment section at one point said that this test is only good. They didn't get a, t a they didn't get a pregnancy, um, a confirmation of pregnancy until I think they're like 14 days post. So <laughs> I'm like, dang, am I just wasting them taking them this early? Because I really just don't know how sensitive they are. On another note, if I am pregnant, it would be like a miracle. <laughs> Just a miracle in the fact that, like, I didn't really, you know, do the deed, like, multiple times when I probably should have been more active. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. Life gets in the way sometimes. Let us see what I'm seeing. Also, also, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be using FMU, but honestly, after looking at my pee, it looks pretty concentrated. It looks like your girl needs to drink some water because it's not diluted in the slightest. It's really vibrant in color, and so I'm like, that should say something or do something if it, there is something. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to sound like a toddler. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed, folks. And like I always say, if it doesn't show anything right now, doesn't mean that there isn't anything. It just could be too early. But you know how it is. You do a little for TV, like it's real life. I am showing you my real testing. At the same time, I'm starting to test because I'm sharing my journey with you guys. If it were just me, I don't know if I would, I probably wouldn't test as early, but because like I'm taking you guys along for the journey, I make, you know, I make videos surrounding this. So I try to help, try to, um, share my emotions, my, um, disappointments, my, whatever it is that I'm feeling regarding these little guys. And honestly, I've been feeling things, but I refuse to symptom watch this time around. I'm like, I am not symptom watching because it's just, symptom watching just leads to all types of problems. And you just feel disappointed when it turns out to just be like, you know, just not, like you're not pregnant. So guys, This is what I'm seeing result-wise, not seeing much on it, and it is approaching five minutes. So yeah, all signs point to not pregnant as of yet. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, be remain optimistic and just focus on me. The doctor said to just keep doing what I'm doing until, you know, I get my appointment. So. He said to just wait. They're going to give me a call back to book my appointment with the clinic that I'm going to go to. I have no clue where I'm going to go, but I'm just, I'm happy to be going in a direction to at least get some help or guidance and to even know, you know, because it's, it's hard to just sit down and speculate over and over that it could be this, it could be that, it could be because I was nursing, it could be because I was nursing the entire time, but at the same time, I don't know what's going on. Is it like an age factor? Am I, is it because I'm older? I don't know. So it's really good to get some direction and I appreciate, I, I'm glad I just went. You guys have been actually encouraging me to go for a long time. And I probably should have been there a little bit longer, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It doesn't, it's, you know, new beginnings, as I said, with the month of November, new beginnings, moving forward in a positive way and not um I don't know, not overthinking it and not just being down my, on myself there's no point um this you know I want this to happen more than ever because baby girl is growing and she's growing really big really fast but I have to be patient and if you're on the same kind of journey as I am you kind of have to be too um, do whatever you can in your powers, but don't, um, you know, don't lose your positivity and your hopefulness because 
day after day, I keep hearing miracles of people conceiving after spending thousands of on IVF and it didn't work. And then when they were going for their next round, they found out they were pregnant or people who've been trying forever and just thought it couldn't happen and then it happens. So there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, I feel. And I know it's easier said than done. And sometimes the circumstance turned out to be turns out to be different too than what we expect. But just um, don't give up. That's all I can say is to encourage you to not give up because giving up doesn't do anything except just hurts you even more. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, much love.